Welcome to Pennington's Flight Plan, presented by JetBlue. I'm Eric Allen inside our Play MGM studios, and we're joined, as always, by Chad Pennington down in Lexington, Kentucky. Chad, the Jets are about to turn to the third quarterback in as many weeks to start the 2019 regular season. What can you tell us about Luke Falk? Well, Eric, I had the privilege of being with Luke at the Senior Bowl two years ago, as well as watching him at the Combine and actually talking to him. And a couple things I can tell you about Luke. Number one, coming from his college system at Washington State, we know that he can pass the ball and be very effective there. Uh, he had a great uh, college career. Watching him at the Senior Bowl, talking to evaluators, they really liked his passing ability. They liked his touch on the football, and they knew that he was an upper echelon type of passer. So that bodes well for the depth. So I think going into this game, I don't think Coach Gates will be scared of allowing him to throw the football. And as we look at these clips moving forward, we will see that he definitely has passing talent. So, Chad, it's not going to be easy. Luke Falk, a sixth-round pick of the Tennessee Titans. He'll be facing maybe perhaps the most famous sixth-round pick of all in Tom Brady up in Foxborough. Let's take a look at some action from Monday night's contest against the Browns. Here late in the first half, the Jets are in a shotgun formation, and Falk uses a little play action to one of the game's top offensive weapons of Le'Veon Bell. Throws a perfect strike to his receiver, but Josh Bellamy just can't hang on. Well, I think this will be something we'll see a lot of from the Jets' offense because they do have a dynamic runner in the backfield. And similar to when I was a young quarterback, having Curtis Martin behind me, the play-action pass can be very effective. And what has to happen, these Jet receivers have to make plays for this young quarterback to instill confidence in him, letting him know that they can make plays for him. And if they can do that, I think Luke will step up and make plays for the Jets' offense. Chad, most of Falk's um, passes in the preseason were short and intermediate routes, but here in the second half, he really got on track with the long ball to Robbie Anderson, who wins his one-on-one -on -one matchup. Well, this is another reason why I think evaluators like the passing ability of Luke Falk. When you look at this throw, this is an upper echelon type of throw. The defensive back actually has really good uh, coverage on Robbie. But Luke recognizes that he can put this ball up in the air in one-on-one -on -one coverage and make a back shoulder type of throw because the defensive back is not watching the uh, quarterback. He's watching the receiver. Robbie makes a great adjustment, keeps both feet in bounds uh, for a big play for the Jets. I thought it was very encouraging what we saw from Luke Falk and Robbie Anderson. Here later on that same drive, Adam Gase uses another route, which he has promised to Robbie Anderson. He said, hey, we're going to increase what he can do here in our offensive system. And here, Falk is on the money and across. Well, with, with Robbie's speed and, and teams really game planning Robbie going down the field, I think this will open up some op opportunities in the intermediate game for Robbie to come across the middle, be able to use these speed cut type of routes where he can create separation. And with the play action fake again, especially when they catch man coverage, to be able to suck these linebackers up, create separation in the defensive backfield, Luke was able to find Robbie again across the middle. Again, if it's working, why not try it later? And that's what the Jets do here as Falk goes over the middle to Anderson for another sizable game. The second time to Robbie uh, with that play action was man coverage. The next time it looked like a little bit more of a softer zone. Adam Gates is not scared to call the same play twice. And when something's working, you find the right situation, you want to call it twice, especially for a young quarterback because you can see that he feels comfortable with this type of concept. His feet are very calm. He makes a very accurate throw, and uh, this was another uh, good play for the Jets' offense. The Jets aren't getting the overall offensive results that they want right now, but one player who has been outstanding in the early going has been Le'Veon Bell. He's a threat rushing the football, an outstanding blocker, and what a receiver. And he can be Luke Fox, great outlet here this weekend against the Patriots. Here against the Browns, he makes another sizable gain after a reception, unfortunately, loses the ball at the end. Well, we all know how disappointed he was in himself uh, by losing the football and the fumble, but at the same time, I think you can see how creative uh, the Jets' offense can be trying to get the ball to Bell and let him make some plays in space because a lot of times some of your best run plays are short passing plays to where now you have him in space 
one-on-one. -on -one. And that's all you're trying to do is create some one-on-one -on -one matchups for Le'Veon Bell because you know he's going to win those matchups most of the time. Thanks, Chad.